Hey, what's up YouTube? So I'm just connecting to my home Wi-Fi with the Ford Maverick for the first time just to make sure that anytime I have it parked in my garage or anything like that, um, I actually have a, a Wi-Fi um, extension, uh, Wi-Fi extender inside my garage there. So um, the Maverick's gonna be able to get perfect, you know, as close to perfect connectivity uh, as possible. So um, I know a lot about Wi-Fi, a, a lot about internet, keeping good connection, uh, signal strength, all that kind of stuff. That's what I do. I'm a supervisor for tech support in my day-to-day -day job. So, um, you know, definitely trust me on, you know, what I'm saying here in this video. <laughs> uh, so with Wi-Fi, basically you just have to go into Wi-Fi. Um, you can do that by going to settings and then going to Wi-Fi. Oops, sorry. Um, so yeah, just settings down there and then go to Wi-Fi. Um, your Wi-Fi should already be enabled um, as, when you pick up the Maverick from your dealership. It, all this is, I didn't set those on or anything like that, but just make sure the Wi-Fi is blue. Um, make sure Wi-Fi availability notification is blue. Um, if you want that on, if you don't want to be getting notifications, turn it off. Um, but yeah, uh, then you just go to view available networks. It'll search for your available networks. And then you just choose the one that you want to connect to. Mine is that. And then I've already connected to it. Um, so it'll give me the options to disconnect, forget it, cancel. Um, but the first time you click on that, like I did, it'll pop up. Uh, wanting to put in your password if your network is secured. If it's not secured, it'll just start connecting. Um, always secure your network though. Uh, you don't want people fishing in there and putting all sorts of junk into your internet, so I would secure it. Uh, put a Wi-Fi password on it. Make sure it's 12, 16, 12 to 16 characters long at least. And uh, yeah, always put in a special character that makes it really secure. Anyways, that's the uh, supervisor tech support of me talking, but yeah, otherwise, there you go. Uh, you just enter in your password, uh, hit connect, and it'll start connecting, and you're all good. You're all set to start getting automatic uh, software updates and things like that whenever you're connected to your uh, Wi-Fi. Um, if for some reason you're having connection issues and things like that, just another troubleshooting step, you can always go back in here, click on the Wi-Fi like I did just there, hit forget. That will... Um, disconnect your uh, basically all it does is forgets your password so it no longer connects to your network um, and then you would just go back into settings go back into Wi-Fi click on your Wi-Fi network again it'll re-ask you for the password put in your password again you should be all connected it should be good that's just in case anytime you come home and all of a sudden you know it's uh, not detecting your network or um, maybe an update uh, failed installing or it's frozen or something like that. Just disconnect so that it stops trying to download that update um, and then reconnect to your network, um, sign back in, and then uh, the update should re-automatically start again and then you should be good. So just another troubleshooting step there for you guys. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be making more videos like this as I come along them and things like that. And uh, so yeah. Um, please like the video, subscribe, and be looking out for new content. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye.